Hello and welcome to watch another tutorial of stamp collecting blocks digital perforation gauche. In today's video I will show how to straighten a stamp, measure its dimension and finally create its centering. So let's begin by opening up an image. For this purpose I've got a somewhat crooked image of New Zealand's Penny Dominion stamp. Then let's change the active working mode into straighten image. As you can see the tool guide gives you advice on what to do. It tells you to click on two different spots that will define the start and end line, what will become the new horizon. For stamps with highly irregular edges such as this stamp, it is advised to look for some design element that has got straight edges. For example, with this stamp, on the bottom there is the value sheet with inscription one penny. Let's use that for the straightening operation. As you may have noticed, the tool is shaped as a straight edge. You can use it to check whether or not the stamp has been straightened successfully. Now let's measure some dimensions. First let's change the active working mode into measure dimensions. This time the guide box tells you to define the area to measure by clicking on the left top side to place a marker where to start and then keep your mouse down and drag to select the area and finally release the mouse. So let's place the mouse on top of the stamp and let's find the edge, click the mouse down and then simply drag. When you drag the mouse it will display on gray shadow on top of this stamp or area you are about to measure. When completed you will see the dimensions measured. In this case it's 19.55 millimeters width and the height is 22.91. The grading tool or centering tool works more or less the same way as the measure dimensions tool with one exception. Instead of drawing one selection you have to make two selections. The first selection must be made around the edges of the stamp. This will define the outer limits of the stamp. The second selection should be drawn around the design or the frame of the stamp. So this defines the inner area of the stamp. When completed, the grade will be shown on the toolbox. For this stamp, it tells that the left margin is 47 percentages, right margin is about 53, top is 47 and bottom is again 
53. That's all this time. Thank you for watching. I hope you remember to subscribe this channel for further tutorials as well as visit stampcollectingblog.com.